Hey everybody, it's Stacy here at the Averett Fix. It is day four of the challenge, the Three Rivers Challenge to use everything in your pantry rather than go to the grocery store. As I mentioned in previous videos, yesterday we celebrated my son's birthday, so um, I didn't cook from my pantry. He wanted Chick-fil-A and that's what we got. But I'm not having much trouble cooking for my pantry right now. And so that has been great. I've learned that I've got a lot of things stored. Um, this is my first year with the greenhouse. This will be my first fall with the greenhouse. I've got a fall garden in there. So I will have to buy um, some produce and things like that that we didn't get to can. And I try to buy that produce organic and non-GMO at the very least. Today, we are going to utilize some leftovers that are in the fridge, and we're going to make a beef stew. I had made a pot roast, and it's full of onions and carrots and tomatoes. Carrots are the only thing that I didn't grow, and um, so I'm going to put that in the pot, and we are going to put these leftover green beans into the pot, and then I have some other green beans that come out of a can. I grew green beans this year, but they didn't really um, produce enough to can any green beans, so I'm going to wash these off and put them in a little later. I thought you might find it funny to hear the story of me loading my pigs yesterday. I have two pigs that are going to the butcher, and generally my pigs just walk on the trailer. We like to try to feed them two or three days on the trailer um, prior to them having to go to the processor so that they're used to it and so that they know that if they're going to get fed, they have to get on that trailer. So I have one stubborn pig in particular, and I call her pig because I always knew that she would go to the processor. So I have pig and ginger. Ginger hops right on the trailer, starts eating. I have six piglets. They all hop right on the trailer. They start eating. I've chopped up an onion, which I don't grow, but I did have in my pantry. Um, so pig just hem hauls around. She won't get on the trailer. I try to put some food on there. She won't get on the trailer. Um, my sons come out and help me, which turned out not to be much help at all. Neither one of the boys wanted to get their feet dirty. Um, and so we've had a lot of rain and there's like six inches of sludge in the pig pen. So they uh, start hollering at the pigs and poking the pigs with stuff. And my pigs just aren't used to that. They're never spoken to harshly and they don't know what to do with that. So immediately pig, the aggressive pig, busts through this tin makeshift chute that my husband has made to get them on the trailer and now the pigs both two pigs and six piglets are roaming free in the yard the secret to getting pigs on the trailer is for pigs to be hungry well we have 26 acres of oak and hickory trees and so as soon as the pigs are in the yard they're eating acorns and hickory nuts and they have no interest whatsoever in the food that is on the trailer for them so I come in and I open a can of corn out of my pantry. Well, you know, we're in this pantry challenge, so that's kind of precious to me. Before the end of the day, I end up using three cans of corn. I have one left. And so um, they get back. I get the little ones back in, and I get Ginger, who is the good pig, back on the trailer. And a friend of mine was here, and she was going to help me take them to the processor, and I'm thinking... Oh my goodness, all right, that's the last of the potatoes. Um, I did not grow those. I have grown potatoes in the past, but I didn't grow them this year. And then I'll put the green beans in there. So she's helping me, and we are luring pig into the trailer with some corn. And that didn't work either. And so I come down to my refrigerator, I clean out everything is old. Well, we just so happened to have about a cup left of um, milk that had been sitting out on the counter. I've been meaning to give it to the pigs. It was nice and 
clabbered and gross and sour and pigs love that. And I had some sour cream that had some mold on top of it because I don't know about you, but things get pushed to the back of my refrigerator and we forget all about them and that's what ends up um, feeding our pigs sometimes. And so I, I get out all the scraps, but I knew that the kicker was gonna be that sour milk. And so I go up there, I pour that into, we have like a mesh top on the trailer. We pour that in and sure enough, she cannot resist it. Heather and I go around the van and we just hide. We don't let her see us at all. And she gets her big old self 427 pounds is what she weighed out at the butcher and then ginger was 397 because pig is the aggressive one she eats all the food she weighed she got her big old self up there and she started eating that sour cream and we closed the trailer put the pins in and left well about five minutes down the road she starts bucking the top and my husband has a ratchet strap on it you can look and see our homemade trailer videos I don't know how to link those here. So they're not linked here, but I'll learn. So she starts bucking. Well, luckily my husband had a belt for some reason in his van. So we stopped, we belted it down, we headed back, we put the screws in it and we left for the processor. It was quite an ordeal. People wanna know, how can you name your pigs and then eat them? Have a day trying to load them on the trailer and you'll be happy to eat them. <laughs> so let's finish this up. I can pork broth from my bones. It is pretty much gelatinous at room temperature. It is so rich in nutrients and so good for us because we raise our pigs in the forest. They're full of omega-3s. They're full of vitamin D. They're just good good for you. So I'm going to put that pork broth in there. We're going to let this um, cook in the crock pot for a little while. Right before it's finished, probably about 30 minutes before it's finished, I'll make a little roux and pour, pull out some of the broth and make it thick. And then we'll eat that with cornbread tonight. So that's day four from the pantry. Doing good. Hope you're having a great day. And I hope that you are sticking with the challenge and doing well. Thank you. I just received a blessing. Almost two gallons of raw milk from a Holstein Jersey Cross. Just given to me for free. That's good stuff.